I'm Cyril Vanier in Doha. Your headlines on Al Jazeera. At least 59 people have drowned off the coast of southern Greece after a fishing boat carrying migrants sank. A large rescue operation was launched but was complicated by high winds. More than 100 people have been rescued, but dozens are still missing off the Peloponnese Peninsula. The boat is believed to have been bound for Italy after sailing from Tobruk in eastern Libya. The head of the UN nuclear watchdog has delayed his trip to the Russian-controlled Zaporizhia nuclear power plant due to safety concerns. Rafael Grossi had been expected to visit the facility following talks with President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kyiv on Tuesday. He has expressed concern that the nuclear plant could be caught in Ukraine's counteroffensive. Germany has promised long-term support to Ukraine in its battle with Russia and is unveiling its first national security strategy. Chancellor Olaf Scholz says his country is ready to assume a global responsibility. He cited the invasion of Ukraine and the destruction of critical infrastructure, such as the Nord Stream pipelines, as reasons for pushing ahead with the plan. U.S. Secretary Anthony Blinken has confirmed that he will be traveling to Beijing on Friday to discuss maintaining open communication despite tensions between both countries. In a phone call, Chinese Foreign Minister Jin Kang warned the U.S. to stop meddling in its affairs or undermining its sovereignty and security when it comes to issues like Taiwan. Blinken had already canceled a trip planned in February over a suspected Chinese spy balloon that flew over the U.S. China and the Palestinian Authority are to establish a strategic partnership. This comes after Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas met President Xi Jinping in Beijing. China previously said it's ready to help facilitate and ease tensions between Israel and the Palestinian Authority. Several countries in the Middle East have recently been turning towards the world's second largest economy, Mahmoud Abbas being the first Arab leader to be hosted by China this year. Lebanese politicians have failed to elect a new president for the 12th time. Legislators were unable to agree on a successor to Michel Aoun. Two MPs have been competing for the top job, Marada party leader Sleiman Frangier and former finance minister Jihad Azour. This comes as an economic crisis continues in Lebanon. Former President Michel Aoun's term ended in October last year.